Radical Heights is the latest Battle Royale from Boss Key Productions. This is the uh, uh, Cliffy B's company that made Lawbreakers. Some of you may have heard of it. As a matter of fact, it's more likely you heard of it because of its failings uh, than the odds that you know somebody that has played it. Basically, it bombed. It was a terrible failure. Came out in August of last year. It's already gone, uh, like closed down. And then out of nowhere, as in basically yesterday, <laughs> the day before this game released, they were like, hey, we have a new game coming out tomorrow. They said they had a working on a project like a week ago. We we're working on a project. Uh, and they're like, hey, tomorrow, new game. And guess what? It's a fucking new game. And it's not that bad. Like seriously, for Battle Royale, it brings a lot of new stuff to the table. It really does. Uh, but while also excluding some of the shit that I didn't like from some other uh, Battle Royales. Fortnite, for example, with the building. Not really into it. Actually, let's go and cancel that real quick. Um, so I want to show you guys the the shop. Uh, PUBG, still not, still kind of on the fence with PUBG in terms of like how I want to compare this to to, to player on the battlegrounds. Um, it definitely has this like really over the top. You know, look at me. I'm I'm, I'm the '80s. <laughs> I'm the 80s Kung Fury uh, aesthetic. It's all over. It's all over. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's everywhere. Uh, they definitely are over top with that. But that's fine. <laughs> like, I mean, they have to have their own look. You have the seriousness of PUBG uh, in terms of like looks. Uh, I don't know where Hizzy sits in there. Uh, <laughs> and then you have the the cartoony flavor of Fortnite. Uh, and so this kind of sits Somewhere in, actually, personally, I like to refer to this as it's got the champions online looks. <laughs> Look, it's like things are a little a little creamy looking, right? A little bulbous, almost a like cartoony. Uh, and yeah, let's go through the store here real quick. You guys can see some of the stuff that you can uh, purchase. Uh, so I have a number of gems here, courtesy of Little Boots. He hooked me up with the uh, the, uh, the the, the um, I guess the founders pack. Uh, Fifteen dollars that got me like twelve hundred gems, I think. And I've already I already bought this outfit. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 yeah, it's, it's a good outfit. Um, I have some things that I've unlocked through gameplay. I have some sick flannel. Holy shit. Oh, man, this is great. God damn. These are so good. Oh, man, I just love it. Some of these things, yeah, I picked up while I was playing. Like, for example, this here. And that's why you see there's a little, a little lock there. Whenever that lock is uh, gone, that means that you've discovered it in game. And now you have the option uh, of, of purchasing it with uh with in-game currency and i'll show you guys how that works when we actually get into the match here uh not a whole lot here let's see hair okay i guess i'm sold on hair fine sold on glasses really i'm sold on hair huh it's kind of weird uh let's see hat i've not yet unlocked any i can buy it with gems though of course buy it with gems and then my kicks here uh I can buy these shoes There's some high tops some boots <laughs> oh man oh this is great now, so not a lot of stuff, but this is the only thing you could buy right now with uh, with gems. You can see on the right hand side here, the 500 rad gems. 500 rad gems will get you, uh, I mean, quite a bit, quite a few things, actually. Five bucks will actually net you quite a few things. Uh, I'm not saying go out, go out there and start buying all this shit up. No, don't just 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 hold on to it for a minute. Um, but yeah, it's it's I mean, it's got it's, it's got uh, the, you could basically buy out the entire store. For, I think the $59.99 price that'll get you probably just about everything given that the top thing is like 300 There's more stuff in the game that you can unlock as you play but but and then customize it as we go through and uh, do your kill card Which is what they see whenever you kill somebody look at that's what they see. It's not really that great Honestly, this is about on par with uh, Sonic All-Stars Racing Transform <laughs> The license is there uh, Let's see. we go to customize. We also go to wardrobe. We've already seen that for the most part the green pink I got the pink these are the items that I heard and I have unlocked Founders, all part of the Founders thing, right? Oh boy. Oh jeez, man. God. And let's see, hair. I guess I got all the hair for the Founders pack, probably. There you go. Nah, nah nothing. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, this is all kinds of stuff. Bandana? Oh, hell yes. Oh, man. Oh, God. 
<laughs> How many colors can I put on one character? Please, yes. Oh, Jesus. I, don't even, I guess I'll go ahead and equip. Sure, why not? Oh, equip. Let's see what. Uh, unlock with the purchase. Oh, I thought I had the founder's pack. Oh, lame. That's what they got me. I thought that's what that was. Oh, whatever. It's fine. Uh, let's see. Uh, customize also the character. You go through, do some basic customization. There's no women in this game, by the way. Not yet. Uh, okay, so black dude, white dude. And then uh, you can you maybe different shades of white. You need different shades of black? I mean, you need a white black dude, I guess. That's kind of weird. Uh, and then, of course, your hair and then all that good stuff. You can change your hair color if you want. Update, sure. Nope, can't update. It's fine. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into a match here. I'll explain in the while we're in the lobby. I'll explain some of the basic concepts uh, in terms of like map reading. And uh, as we ru we'll run around and take a look at the different areas that they have, because the lobby is basically like a one big room that just has one of everything in it. Similar to uh, PUBG. I'm going to be talking about PUBG quite a bit as we play. Um, but yeah, similar to PUBG in that respect that, you know, in the uh, in the starting area, in the lobby, in the waiting island, you can go around, pick up a bunch of weapons and go and shoot them and all that stuff. So it's basically the same concept, except for it's more like here's different things you can stand in. A little tooltip will pop up and it'll show you what it does. All right. So here we go. So first off, this is uh, this pink uh, circle here is what the uh, the final showdown area looks like. There, actually, this final showdown. Once this appears, stay in the lid zone. So basically, it's a small, it's a small example. It's much larger than this, but it will shrink down to about that size. Uh, spin to win. So spin to win is this is the item that drops. Basically, the uh, loot drops from uh, 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 like airdrops, I should say. The ATM, this is where you go to deposit money. Uh, you can deposit $100 at a time, and it basically will allow you to uh, put uh, or, or save that money for future matches, which is fucking dope. Seriously, that's really good. Uh, and then over here, this is a box. You stand right here, plays a song, and then after a few seconds, the mystery door opens up. Over here is a rain shower. If you stand underneath this thing, you'll get money. And this is a bike race. If you hit this, if you get on this bike, well, you'll see this throughout the match. Uh, then you go to the finish line, and you'll get... Uh, some armor and all that good stuff. So there's just a number of small things you, they, they let you go through. Kind of like a little theme park. Gotta check it out. There's a zip line, all that good stuff. And then we basically just go in uh, and then let's get drop in. We pray started. for the best. All right. So here we are parachuting out. Or, well, I guess you'd call it parachuting. The area there is what's blocked. Now, if I can make my way towards the center, I could probably actually make it towards the very end of the map, or of the entire uh, uh, event. Assuming, of course, that I stay alive, because this area is safe. Look at that. Uh, oh, wait, but we gotta stop, though. We gotta... <laughs> we gotta actually stop. Here we go. All right, yeah, that's how, that's, it's, that's, that's how he lands. Just He just rolls right out of it. No big deal. Knees and ankles together, roll right out of it. Airborne, baby. All right, here we go. Get all this stuff together. Uh, I picked up the TV. Notice it just basically puts cash in my in my in my hand. Oh, there's a guy right there. Shit. I gotta get the fuck out. We gotta find something. We can run out of there and probably punch him in the face. Oh shit. That means he's getting into one of the uh, uh, one of the prize rooms, which means he is going to have loot. Is that ammo? That's ammo. The spinning box is ammo. Okay. Yep. That was the. Uh... Fuck. Here we go. Another box over here. Now it's just him and I here on this <laughs> on this island here. Oh, let's get this. I have this. Here he comes. Take advantage of that peak. He is definitely here somewhere. I guess he was just turning in shit. <laughs> he just turned in basically whatever he picked up. He dropped no weapons. Huh. Interesting tactic. Let's see how it pans out. <laughs> so I just picked up an equipment slot actually, uh, or a gear slot there, so I'm able to carry more weapons. Or equipment slot, sorry. Gun slot, whatever it is. Uh, and then there's also a gear slot, so they can hold more gear. You can see the bottom right corner, there's a lock on, uh, on both number three and number six for a weapon and a piece of gear. Now I can afford this now, right? Yes, I can. Oh wait, oh, 321, shit. Uh, not today, you poser. Shut up. Uh, let's find the gear, uh, recycle bin. 
which is actually where I just shot that guy. So we'll go around the backside here. And we will turn it in. Yeah, he totally was just like turning in stuff and then just dying so he could have the money or whatever. I don't even know what the... There's another box right there. Okay, let's go ahead and take this. We'll recycle this. Get a little bit of money back. 312. <sighs> Still not quite enough. <laughs> it's okay. We'll be able to get some stuff from probably one of these boxes here. Yeah, like a shotgun, for example. We'll go and throw that in there. Then we'll be able to get some armor. Armor is pretty freaking important. I mean, as it is in any uh, battle royale. I also have this. I'm gonna call call the uh, supply here on my <laughs> on my cell phone. There we go. Thank you for calling. And we should have We've been for your call. a drop coming the soon. And the, supplies of your will be right with you. the supplies of my dreams. Boop. There it goes. Check see if anything here. Nothing here. Okay, cool. Oh damn! All right. God, I'd be remiss to not use this thing. Uh, God, it's giving us 70 rounds. I could turn this in for so much money, though. Let's go get some armor. Let's play with this. God, a sniper rifle. This is, this is, these are the moments where I'm just like, here, Shizzle, take this. <laughs> I just give him the damn thing. Oh, man. I know what my limits are, okay? Spray and pray is pretty much my comfort zone. Shotguns, I love them. Uh, and there's the rest of my money. There we go. Uh, pistols, I'm pretty good at pistols. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, make our way out. There's no fall damage, by the way. You can just basically roll out of anything. I mean, it should be pretty obvious no fall damage, uh, given the intro. How we, uh, how we came into the map. Now, I mentioned this during his stream, during my stream uh, of the game, but I do feel that it is a little quiet. There's like some weapons right there in the middle of the ground with a backpack. There's definitely some shit that happened here. Uh, so yeah, the it is a little bit quiet for my liking. <laughs> there, go get that last weapon there. Um, I f well, I well considering how much they how much attitude they put into the game, you would think that there'd be a little bit more. Okay, let's go get that back up here. Uh, there'd be basically constant music, constant something going on, right? You'd be able to hear music coming from somewhere, but that is not the case. This is actually one of the more uh, put together homes. Most of them are actually all placeholders, no textures, stuff like that. Go ahead and load this up. They do not come preloaded. You have to load each one. Kind of haphazardly going through here. There's nothing here. Make your way back out to this guy. Boop. Is there anything in the garage? Yeah. Some money. Straight up money, 226. All right, we're going to make our move out here. But yeah, I mean, like, uh, battle, Roy uh, battle royales uh, in general typically don't have a whole lot of music happening, like, during the middle of the action. Uh, but again, because this game has so much, just so much flavor, I'm stuck or something. Oh, that's odd. Uh, huh. Oh, there's a guy right there. Where is he at? Okay. <laughs> Damn it, this is going into the need for breakfast. Now nah, I want to record another another game where I don't actually get the uh, damn sniper rifle. By the way, the uh, aim sensitivity does not adjust when you zoom down. I have this, the same damn aim sensitivity as anything else. It's not like PUBG where you can go through and adjust every single type of zoom. Alright, how do I get up to the roof? I don't know if you guys saw, but there is a, uh, a piece of cosmetic up there and it looks like right, it's gonna be the front but yeah you pick up a piece of cosmetic and if you win then it, it unlocks the ability for you to purchase it i don't know if that's changed but the game's only been out for a couple days so i'd seriously seriously doubt it fire grenade uh we'll go take trampoline just for the lulls um but yeah you cannot oh here it is cool so yeah you uh red band underwear boom pick it up now if i win then i will unlock the opportunity, uh, the chance, <laughs> or they say the privilege of of getting it. Oh, wow, this is so odd. This is like the odd. This is the craziest thing, huh? How funny. Well, damn. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was saying about dead air. <laughs> Let's see. There's a couple of points on the ground. You can see the the dollar signs. Let's go actually inspect. Let's see what's up. I was gonna looking forward to turning in some stuff and getting getting paid, but that's not happening today. Oh, what is that? 
What is this? Uh, AK-47U versus uh, this one. Let's do that. Or a high-tech, rather, sorry. A green, basically. Okay, now let's get... Let's go where the action is. Oh, what is this invisible wall shit? Huh. It's funny, uh, through all the times that we played earlier, I didn't have any issues with wall- oh shit, oh boy. There we go. There we go. Man, lots of stuff. And I'm also hurting a little bit. We go and actually apply this. And then we will see where the uh, the timer takes us. Right now we are just yeah, dead center. In uh, oh actually no, they unlocked it. They moved the uh, the map stuff around. So, while we were alone uh, or in an isolated area, now it's wide open. I don't know, where do I even begin? I wish there was somewhere nearby I could go through and turn all this shit in. Just spend the rest of this episode simply <laughs> running around. Uh, putting things in kind of odd. Uh, you know what? I'll try that. I haven't tried that yet. Another med kit. More bandages. Jesus Christ. I, I don't even know where to start. Well, hold on a second. What is this guy? I saw there was one of them. Is a oh, oh, oh God. What is it? High power. Hold on. High power this. Hold on. Okay, let's replace that AUG. And then I guess we could replace something with this high power... What's it here? <laughs> oh, it's got silencer and everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it tells you actually if you hold it like this, you guys should go down there and take a look and see everything. It's got silencer and underbarrel. Uh, this has got a scope. This has got a silencer as well. Man, man, I am just fucking hooked up. Yeah, there's some loot coming down. It comes down on a rail here. Yeah, don't want to see it at all. 17 people left. Boy, this might actually fare pretty well for me. I mean, only two kills, but... That's fine. What is this? Better than what I have? Nope. Damn, man. Where is... I think that's silencer, too. Where is a goddamn machine to turn all this shit in? I need to get paid. All this money. All this... All this... All this opportunity to make so much money. Alright, let's start moving closer to the center here. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna guess that we're gonna... Here, the next lockout, it's gonna push us closer to the center. I mean, there's only so many options. So I'm just gonna get a little bit farther south here. Take a few strolls out in the open, see if we can draw some fire. Draw some action. But here's the thing, though. Like, let's talk a little bit about the money economy, right? Like, there is an actual in-game... Uh, like in match, actually, uh, economy that leads to your cut. I'm going in circles. Uh, that leads, it basically leads back around to, uh, essentially continued progression. That thing just changed colors, I think. Uh, persistent progression. Let's go up here and get this shirt just in case we win. And what it seems like here is that the, uh, hold on. Do I hear something? I hear my own feet, but... Anyways, uh, what it leads to is basically the opportunity to play different ways. I could sit here and like that, like that first guy that I killed, and be like, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna go turn some shit in and just make some money. Maybe he found something that was like in that room, that prize room, that was worth a ton of money. In which case, sure, yeah, go ahead and turn it in, get paid. But, uh, or you could just play normally, you know, just go run around and try to get your, your chicken dinner. Your winner, winner chicken boog boogaloo, your whatever, whatever you want to call it. Five seconds until next. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of interesting. Be able to run around and pick up a whole bunch of crap, turn it in, get paid, and then even if you die, as long as you, as long as you hit up an ATM, you, you offload most of that money, you could potentially lose nothing. Or very, very you know, effectively nothing. All right, hold on. So those are the spin to wins coming down. That's definitely what some matches. It's basically, it's this game's version of a drop from PUBG. I mean, I would go turn the shit in there, but I can't, can't get in. All right, so there it goes. It's going down. That's going to be... 
that corny ass sound. And then there's a it's basically you you walk up to it, you hit a button, the spinning wheel stops and then confetti pops out and it drops a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, the last time I had one of those, actually, I got a bike, which was super handy because <laughs> it immediately got me killed. because That's what bikes do. <laughs> Hug these bushes here. Good old bulletproof bushes. What do I have on this thing? Oh, nice. What have on this? This ADS, yeah. Make your way down here. Now you do can go prone. You can crouch. Oh, shots coming from pretty far away. All right, let's see. Bandage. I'm gonna pop one of those. See if you can see this dude. I actually had problems seeing somebody earlier that Shizzle saw on his screen. Uh, maybe now is a good opportunity for me to, let's say, come around the corner here. <laughs> and let's make some adjustments to the graphic settings. FOV, 1.7, da 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 da, okay. Uh, global quality is high, huh? Ultra, let's go ultra. See what we were missing out on. Eh, it looks about the same. <laughs> it doesn't really look that different, to be honest. Although I definitely I feel like I'm, I'm dropping a few frames here. I don't have a frame counter up, but it does feel like I'm dropping just a little bit. And again, effectively, no, no change. Let's go ahead and change it back. Oh, God, I'm going to get shot while I'm in here. I prefer to have frames over anything else. There we go. That's much smoother. So the save zone kicks in. It doesn't instant kill you or anything. It basically just starts ticking away your health. You gotta cross the street, but I know that guy's back there somewhere. That spin to win. He's probably actually gonna make his way to that spin to win, but he was already pretty loaded. So yeah, like I'll show you right here. Here's a purple zone. Let me just run out. You'll see. Just basically takes little chunks of damage there. I mean, it, it will eventually kill you for sure, but... Whoop, oh shit. <laughs> it's okay, I have a silencer. We're all good. We're all okay. <laughs> Let me get this up here. Good. I have one more. A little bit of overkill. Overhealing, but... I don't expect to be alive, alive much longer. I have faith in my skills. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. Even though I don't have a face cam. <laughs> Alright, so that section is locked. We're pretty much up against nothing. Again, people can still come through there. Just like they come through the blue. In PUBG or any other. Battle Royale. That thing's been picked up, by the way. Oh, here we go. Gentleman right here. That last second shot was terrible. Obviously, the first one we were standing still was easy. Very little bullet drop, though. There's no point in compensating for it if it doesn't happen. Go for it. <laughs> All right, got him like four times. He's probably back there healing for fuck's sake, which sucks. I'm probably definitely drawing attention to myself. I mean, I'm still doing good timer wise. Yeah, he's definitely burning through his healing. I mean, all of us at this point have probably a ton of healing, especially if he went right for the, uh... If he's the one that got to spin to win, probably got a med kit or something out of there. Oh, it's okay, right behind him. Right over there. There he is. Probably thought he got shot from the dude there. He 
Let's see if he goes for it. He has his bike there. He's gotta go for something. There he is. There, done. Six left. That's a whole lot of bait sitting out there. I don't need it. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> and my zone is still good to go, but there is gonna be a showdown moment coming here soon. Everyone's gonna have to move towards the center. Or move towards wherever that showdown, final showdown takes place. A few distance. If I got, if somebody actually renders out here, I'll be impressed. I should just go and switch hands. So that doesn't really switch hands. Just switches angles, switches shoulders, kind of. Someone's in that pile? No. Med kit though. Ooh, that was a fancy looking gun right there. We're still good. 20 seconds left. The travel time for the bullet would be insane. But again, I don't think there's any bullet drop. Let's test it out. The window in that van. Oh, it did drop. It dropped a pretty good amount. Not as much as uh, I feel like other games. Because that's fucking far. Look how far that is. Whoop. That's out there. Still good, man. Our circle's still good. Or our circle. Our square, I guess. <laughs> it's still good. That stuff is still there. I wonder if there's somebody else watching it. Let's go and move. I'd hate to spend the entire rest of this I4B just fucking sitting here chilling. Cash. Okay, careful. I don't want really to pick anything else up. I'll pick up anything I don't want necessarily. I'm pretty happy with what I have. But I do want to get medkit and that Rex. Ooh, God. Uh, what do I want to swap before? We'll swap automatically for the thing. Good. Max gear capacity. Okay, everything else is good. All right, I have a bike. Oh, they're bringing it to me. Holy shit. All right, let's get back to our spot. Our spot works. Let's use it. We'll keep the trampoline there. Just in case we need a, a quick get getaway. Oh, there's the shots. There he is. Come back around? No. I don't think I have more than one. Oh shit, it's a grenade. That went way over my head. It's okay. Oh, another guy right there. Good. Distraction. Let him go loot. There we go. Well, it looks like this hill is going to be the final. Oh, this guy right here has no idea. Hmm. I'll bring your head up again. <laughs> There's no way he does that for a third time. I'm like standing up here almost. Oops. There is still quite a few people, so that guy knows where I am, but there's likely others around that will kill him. Oh, there he is. Not good. Four alive. Here we go, baby. Get it's to the final shootout. It's I'm in it. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I am in the final showdown. Wow, what a great pick. Holy crap. Oh, good thing there's other 20 matches. Uh, you know, you throw all those 20 matches, other 20 matches away. I'm just going to stick with this one. This is the best one. <laughs> Actually, truth be told, th uh, this is the first uh, match that I've recorded because I was like, oh, yeah, I should do it and eat it for breakfast. Okay. 
uh, on this game because it is technically indie. Oh, that's basically the marker for the uh, for the final showdown. Um, and so I jumped to the match, and this is the first match I get. I'm, I'm totally happy if I die right now, but I would prefer not to though. God, got all that loot. Somebody else is eyeballing this loot. This loot somewhere. Explosion. gonna can my way to victory but this is the way this is pretty much the way it goes though when it comes to battle royales you either be the aggressor or you just sit back and get a bunch of kills <laughs> like this although I, I'm, I'm, I may not give shizzle uh, uh, the dragon off uh, ever again there it is the showcase or rather, just, you know, give him the uh, sniper rifle. Alright, good news is I'm in the shadows. Secretly hoping, it's you. Secretly hoping it's me. Although I am pretty well fucking lit. I don't know if that necessarily means that they could see me like this or what. I still have seven seconds. It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna start chunking though pretty good. That is just barely in. And it's moving. Basically going to move from point to point here. More circles on the or more trees on the right, but I have to cross this small deal here. There's opening. There's four people in this circle. This is painful. Where do you think the circle, the, the, the middle of the circle is going to be? Don't know if you can actually pull out your rifle while waiting for, waiting to detonate. There's something going to be over that tree, oh, those rocks right there, or over this, one of the two. Shit. Wait, where the fuck? Oh, oh damn it! Yes, you're definitely no, not oh, oh, oh. Here's what you want. So close! And there's the last one there. Alright, so hey, but look at that. I did actually walk away with uh with a couple of rewards here, which I thought that there's something you only get whenever you complete um you're the best around. Oh boy. Oh, wow. Did they license that? <laughs> God, I hope so. <laughs> Spectate. There it is. So there's your winner right there. 995 tax. We can actually go ahead and go back to the uh, to the screen here. We can take a look at the new cosmetics I just unlocked, like the underwear and the, uh, was it a shirt or something? That's pretty great. Wow, what a great, what a great fucking run for an indie for breakfast. I love that. Uh, let's see. We'll go to profile. No, no, sorry. Prize room. Uh, and here's what we could see. Here it is. 115,000 thousand of these uh, uh, in-game money. That is quite a bit. I have 9,738. 9, if I were to, if, if I would have won that match, uh, I would have gotten um, uh, double the money that I, could, that I had on me, which wasn't a lot. Uh, you definitely want to try to balance. Okay, do I want to go ahead and turn in the money? Or do I want to uh, like basically put it in the ATM and, and uh, send it to offshore account, they call it, um, which is something unfortunately I didn't get a chance to show you today. Uh, or do I want to uh, take it and put it into a, uh, uh, or hold on to it and risk everything. Uh, risk it for the biscuit, as I've been told, uh, quote, Mr. Shizzle. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so here, here's like the bottom line for me. Uh, in its current state, it is very playable. Uh, early, earlier uh, in its release on the first day, it definitely had some issues, but it is quite fun. Uh, one of the reasons why I don't want to get involved with uh, with with uh, Fortnite is because the way that the building aspect works, I feel like, okay, that's cool and everything, but I feel like it's silly. 
like, OK, let me go res my buddy. And then and all of a sudden, like you're surrounded, you're in a small, you know, a studio apartment. <laughs> and then like, oh, let's go and get out. Let's build a door from the inside out. Like, that's just that's just silly to me personally. But uh, here you have some of that, some of the silly and kind of just kind of like the, the fun element, right? Just kind of doesn't necessarily take itself too seriously. Obviously, this game does not at all uh, that like Fortnite has, which is that is a bit of an appeal there, right? Uh, but it gives it, uh, but it gives it its own twist on it. It's still battle royale. It's still X number of players, you know, in a single map, fight to the death, closing a circle that slowly closes in, blah, 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 blah. It's still that. But, uh, with the in-game economy of being able to go around and collect things and sell them and then turn around and, and put an ATM, $100 at a time, mind you, uh, in order to put, in order to basically get it when you get out of the game to have more money to spend or carry over into the next match so I could withdraw money from an ATM and then turn around and buy something. So let's say if there is an awesome weapon sitting inside of a vending machine uh, and maybe it costs, you know, $2,000, $2, but I'm, and I'm like, you know what? I have $150,000. I'm going to withdraw $2,000 for the nearest ATM and come back over here and buy that. That is awesome. That is seriously awesome. Uh, it's rewarding people that play more, basically. As it stands, there is no way to convert gems to in-game currency. So if somebody has uh, a ton of in-game money and they're buying all the awesome weapons from the ATM, that is solely because they played more than you. And, or, or, say, or they probably played differently than you did, in which case maybe they decided to go in for like 100 games and just collect a bunch of shit and turn into the ATM and then, you know, they don't really give a shit about, uh, about making it to the end. It's basically explore every building, hit up every ATM, hit up every, uh, every vending machine, whatever, right? Maybe that's how they played. But still, it's not, it's not, it's not pay to win. It's basically uh, uh, commit time <laughs> to win. Uh, so yeah, like it is, it is, uh, it is a good game, man. I am, I am actually very, very happy for Cliffy B and the Lawbreaker family, right? <laughs> like these guys, they had just a bomb, a game that just didn't go anywhere, had nobody playing. I think one person or something was playing it. Basically, no one. That is. That is tragic for any game, for any game. Uh, and then they turn around and bust this thing out, announcing it a day ahead of release, extreme early access. Good for fucking them because it doesn't suck. It's not a piece of shit. Uh, it's not just another battle royale game. Uh, it is a lot of fun. It does have, it does some, bring something different to the table. And personally, I like it. I like it. I, I like it quite a fucking bit. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy that <laughs> that match, that match of all matches ended up being the one. Oh, man, I'm so happy. Jesus. Now I can now I can stream it. Uh, I can go back to streaming it and getting fucking last place. <laughs> actually, the last thing I did before I got off the last stream was actually ad uh, adjust my uh, sensitivity down farther. It was a little too high for me and I adjusted down farther. And look at this. Look at that. So the next game I get in the top 10, top five, top three. Damn, love it. My name is Mike B. A.K. Phony. This is Indie for Breakfast. The game is called Radical Heights. Available right now on Steam for free. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you.